Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. You know, considering this segment is called Words of Worship, we may need to occasionally return to exploring what worship is. Now, you've probably heard different terms describing our gatherings on Sunday mornings as worship services or worship, maybe corporate worship, or maybe a worship experience or a time of worship or worship time. And while the word worship is a constant and recurring in those terminologies, it's fairly ambiguous if we would all try to describe worship and define it. And in the terms we just referred to, it's used more as a noun to reflect a gathering of people. So when we say worship, does that mean our music? Is it the reading of God's word? Is it the reciting of our creeds or our prayers? Is it quiet reverence? Or is it raising our hands and clapping or even dancing? In Romans 12, Paul writes, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. And Psalm 95 says, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Now, if you would go back and read all those passages, you will notice that the worship of God, our praises, our singing, the joyful noises, our thanksgiving, the songs of praise, our bowing down, are all paired with the greatness and attributes of God. Now, Merriam-Webster defines worship as reverence offered a divine being and the act of expressing such reverence. <clears throat> so worship certainly can't just be a noun to name a gathering. It has action and requires a life or a lifestyle of expression. So what should our worship look like? Well, I don't know. What your worship looks like and what your lifestyle of worship looks like is up to you. Because the expression of your worship is reflected by the posture of your heart toward God. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin and I hope to see you again next week.